<clears throat> Even though soups are usually the main character in my uh, my uh, try that one again. Even though soups are <clears throat> try that one again. Whenever you can simplify things, simplify things. That's that's pretty much. Um... Today I'm. Yeah. In most instances, I. <clears throat> instances, instances. <clears throat> In most instances, I'm not too particular about the uh, the. Uh... <clears throat> In most instances, I'm. Take it from the top to be as fine as possible so I I uh, <clears throat> one more time in most instances I'm uh, in most instances I'm in most instances I come on instances down. <laughs> okay take four <laughs> just say it how you would say it your fingers. Mmm, I love the smell of basil. Or basil. Or basil. Or however you like to pronounce it. Okay, into this bowl we're going to be uh, putting in some of this feta cheese. A lot is going to go, well, a little is going to go a lot way. <clears throat> Next, we're going to be. Uh, <clears throat> next, we're going to be grinding in some. Uh, <clears throat> the cat has become very interested in what I'm doing right here. <laughs> Go from side to side. Oops. Being careful not to slice our our fingers. So we're going to be taking this uh, cotton butcher's twine and we're going to be tying this up as best as we can. I've never been very good at this, so <laughs> the outcome is going to be a little wonky. So I'm just going to want to wrap it over like this. Uh, depending on your skill level in this particular uh, particular app, uh, so depending on your uh, <laughs> depending on your particular skill skill level, uh, so you pretty much want to wrap it kind of like this. Um, <laughs> course depending on your particular skill skill skier I've done worse jobs <laughs> uh, if you're gonna work for a restaurant uh, you probably want to learn a better technique than this best thing to do is just take your time part isn't too interesting but uh, yeah, this is essentially what we're doing we're cutting this uh, <clears throat> ah, cut 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 you string cut Episode of its spices. Until then, take there. <laughs> One more time. I'm going to be enjoying this very much, very, very much. Uh, so <laughs> you got it almost right the first time, but you flubbed the last bit. Okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A wonderful feta. <sighs> You'll get it.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful feta stuffed pork loin. I'm going to be enjoying this very, 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 very much. Uh, I invite you to uh, join me for another <sighs> one more time. Hi, uh, good day everybody. Uh, welcome to the uh, next six minutes. Uh, today I'm going to be going way, way off topic. Um, this is really not related to any of my shows, but uh, in a sense it really is. Um, I'll do my best to explain myself because this is not really subject matter that I go into um, at all on this channel. Um, I'm about as far down the uh, totem pole is, is uh, far down the, uh, the line as far as uh, YouTube content creators go. Um, in fact, yeah, I'm virtually non-existent on, on uh, the site. Um, this has to deal, um, this, this video deals with um, the recent change in YouTube um, policies, which um, the spirit of the the, uh, the policy change is to somehow curtail the um, the, uh, the concept of, of online bullying, which is a very very vague, very um, broadly defined, very um, uh, let's just say it's it's something that is open. To abuse and uh, it's very scary for any any um, content creator even ones as small as is mine and even ones with content that has really no um, uh, political um, kind of overtones um, at least I don't think it does uh, I do cooking I do video games um, <laughs> I do a whole lot of things that really aren't related in any shape or form uh, to the uh, socio-political um, subject matter. But even for someone who um, has this kind of content that I, that I have, this is still kind of a scary um, thing because I do watch a lot of uh, politically, uh, uh, political related stuff. And I would hate to see anybody's freedom of speech being stifled. The argument could be made that um, since YouTube is a, a private company, they have every right to censor um, any sort of content from any creator that, uh, that they, they uh, deem fit. However, um, one could also argue that uh, even though it is, you know, the whim of a private company to do whatever they want with whatever um, intellectual property they have, um, it's still against the spirit of, of why we do what we do. Um, I cook food on, on this channel, I, I talk about spirituality, I talk about uh, video games. Um, I would probably be the last guy um, to ever have a, a strike against his channel uh, because of something that I put up on there. But you know, um, let's just say, let's just say I I opinion too hard at one point, and someone takes offense. Um, the thing is, the thing about offense is that offense is. Um, nearly always taken, but it is very rarely given. What I mean by that is that um, unless somebody has you know, a reputation for being an inflammatory uh, con content creator, they're not really out there to be uh, projecting all this uh, vitriol, all this, all, this, uh, all this controversy. Sometimes somebody is just really expressing their opinion and not everybody is going to appreciate the other person's opinion. In fact, a lot of times it is the case that uh, someone really, really objects to somebody's opinion. And I have my opinions. And I really rarely um, delve into um, just 
the things that, that the as, as far as in the politics go, I, I, I don't really get into that. Um, at most, you may consider some of the more spiritual videos that I put out there as, as kind of along those lines. But for the most part, I, I don't really um, do a lot of uh, political commentary. Um, should I decide to, however, um, it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a risk because at any given time, uh, someone could watch something that even just and, and what I would consider kind of an innocuous kind of um, sort of not controversial uh, comment. Someone could take something that I said and take really, uh, take a lot of offense to that and, uh, you know, just uh, go after my channel and, you know, that, that kind of sucks. But there's, there's no protections out there for, for content creators, no matter how big, no matter how small. Um, if uh, the, uh, the YouTube policy is so poorly written that um, essentially everybody's at risk. Uh, I, I am very much against censorship in any way, shape, or form. Um, I guess that's the American in me. I don't know. I guess that, that would be considered a controversial statement there, but yeah, and this is, it's, a, it's a very American thing. Um, I don't agree with everybody. I just don't. And, um, but the thing is, I would not try to stifle anybody's free speech. Um, everybody has a right to their opinion. Everybody has a right to express their opinion. Um, that doesn't mean that um, the information that fuels these opinions uh, is always correct, because no, it really isn't. Um, however, um, there's a really, really a interesting and very powerful phrase that uh, that uh, sunlight is the best dis disinfectant, um, and that is very, uh, very much true. And uh, people that that aren't allowed to express themselves. Um, these these opinions, these ideas fester um, like um, bacteria or uh, fungi that is, is not exposed to, to sunlight. Um, it's, it's virtually the same principle. And uh, uh, people don't get to see the crazy for, for what it is and who it is. And um, ideas can, can get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, outside, uh, outside the reaches of of, of scrutiny, and um, that can be a bad thing. So, never stifle the free speech of somebody that that uh, that you disagree with, um, just on the basis that you disagree with them, no matter how vehemently or passively, uh, because. Uh, you really cut off that process. You really stifle that process of, of, of scrutiny. And um, you also stifle the process of good ideas being heard. And um, exposure to sunlight is can only be a good thing, no matter if the ideas are good or bad. Because when revealed, when the fog is, is uh, lifted. Everybody can see everybody's ideas for what they are and who the ideas are coming from. And I think it's important that um, free speech uh, in all forms uh, needs to be preserved and needs to be protected. And I vehemently disagree with um, YouTube's new policies and um, Judge me for that how you will. And uh, with that, uh, I'll say uh, thank you and uh, have a good day.
<laughs> hey there, and uh, welcome everybody. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is not an episode of Fit Spices. <laughs> uh, I just uh, just thought of doing this uh, just to show uh, everybody that uh, you know between uh, between episodes of Fit Spices, I don't just. Uh, go off and order pizzas or Chinese food or something like that. Not that I have anything against that, but uh, uh, this kind of stuff is, uh, you know, I, I do cook regular, regularly for myself. It's not just a, it's not just an act. I'm not just playing a character or anything like that. So I'm going to have some, uh, some corn here and then we'll get our monthly update uh, underway. Until then... <laughs> My, my sense of humor is uh, uh, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> hey there, everybody. Hey, I lost a little weight up there. <laughs> no, not in my brain, thankfully. But uh, yeah, I took uh, I took the hair off. I just uh, this is. This is <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, guess what, everybody? It is the 100th episode of the next six minutes. Uh, I'm about to light some candles here. I think it's oddly a coincidence that uh, the, the gradient on the candles uh, matches very much the uh, gradient on the, uh, the logo of the, uh, of the YouTube site. Um, I could have gone through an entire, you know, elaborate sort of step-by-step -step process of, of baking a cake, but I found that baking really isn't my strong suit. I'm more of a savory dish kind of guy. So, uh, get these guys lit. There we go. Okay, well, it's a happy, uh, <laughs> happy uh, 100th episode to the next six minutes, and uh, well, it's been a very interesting, uh, interesting time. Uh, I <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, well, it has a. Uh, we are officially. We are officially on uh, the 100th episode of the next six minutes. It has been an interesting journey, um, going from knowing next to nothing about uh, video editing, uh, anything about sound, lighting, all that stuff. It's been a learning curve. It's been just uh, a <laughs> wow. Uh, it's, it's been an educational process, um, just learning about the YouTube format itself uh, to uh, trying to come up with uh, great original content. Um, it's been hit or miss. Um, there's, of course, been things that have been more popular than, uh, than others. It's, uh, it's been a long, kind of bumpy road. Um, so, you know, without uh, <laughs> bogging down the process too much, we're going to get these uh, candles blown out here, and we'll get started on the, uh, the 100th episode. All right. And one, two, three. this again. Well, here we are in episode 100. <laughs> okay. uh, here we are. <laughs> here we are in episode 100. Yes, it's been 100 videos since I began this in late December. Uh, December 24th to be exact. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a long process of learning actually how to use um, well, the camera, uh, well, not the camera, but um, everything else. <sighs> that sucked. Okay, we'll try that again. Uh. <laughs> Hi, here we are in episode 100. That's one, zero, zero, 100. 100 episodes. It's hard to believe. 